The Triangle Pen Show, the peak, the pinnacle, and popping point of all things pen. Fountain pens mostly, but there was also an alarming amount of mechanical pencils. Vast, celebrated collections from now and then, far and wide, some for sale, some just for looking at, but all for exciting curiosity and intrigue in me. I took two friends and drove two hours to a hotel where two large rooms were set up for the event. After being caught up in the spirit of the convention, I bought two pens. I was lost in the feeling of everyone being so obsessed and caught up in something. Pens in this case, but it could have been anything. Everyone was walking about chit-chatting, just being gigantic nerds about pens, and there probably wasn't a better place for it and it was contagious. As I browsed these incredible collections, as I watched people talk and work on pens and try them out, as I held a few in my hands, it quickly dawned on me how little I know about fountain pens. I found myself talking to a guy at his table, and then before I knew it, I was holding a pen, and then dipping it in a little pot of ink and trying it out on a pad of paper. I realized that, mentally, I had already bought it before even asking about the price. It was some sort of vintage waterman's pen from the 1920s. Visually unremarkable for the most part, at least compared to a lot of the pizzazz and flash present in the rest of the convention, but something about it called out to me. Its long history and the way the flexible golden nib put down lines on paper as I tried it out. It was $275, which is obviously a lot and way more than I've ever spent on a pen, but not the most expensive pen at the show by a long, long shot. Well, I came to the pen show, didn't I? Was my justification as I bought it. A little bewildered at myself. There was no case or accessories or anything. I just slid it into my pocket and walked away to enjoy the rest of the pen show. Later, in the privacy of my own home, I tried it out a little. I filled it up with ink and put down some experimental lines, feeling the way it broadened as I put more pressure down and put fine lines down when I barely touched it to the paper. I like it, so I drew a little experimental doodle, which you can see here. It's really a good feeling. It's, it's different because, first of all, a good fountain pen really is a singular feeling and has a most satisfying way of putting the ink down on the paper. And personally, I'm always looking for new and satisfying ways for putting the ink down on the paper. As I drew, I thought of all the lines this pen must have previously drawn. Being a fountain pen, I thought probably it was mostly lots of nice curly loopy lines in the shape of words, but being now in my possession, I would turn it over to my way of thinking, that is, that it should now be drawing curly loopy lines in the form of abstract doodly drawings. But I'm not against the idea of doing some journaling or note taking. The fountain pens are surprisingly uh, just so satisfying to write words with. You just, they just scrawl, and even if you don't know how to write cursive, you'll start slurring all your letters together and connecting them, and everything will start looking all pretty and you will suddenly, well, you might take a little pride in how your words look, but maybe you might not. Also, I am a little concerned that this might be the beginning of something a little insidious. That is the continual emptying of my wallet and the collection of more of these pens. Even if I'd mostly just look at them, 
They are, they, they do seem like a very addicting thing to collect. They all have their own history. You can look up people at the convention were selling like little handmade encyclopedias they make every year and they give out and there's so much uh, rich information about them all. Oh, it's just, you know how people are with collecting things. I mean, what do you guys think about fountain pens? Do you like them? Do you have them? Um, do you like drawing with them or writing with them? Let me know. I probably won't be using these to draw with every single time, but I do like the option to draw with them. It's just a different feeling, and it's a good feeling. Options are good, and good options are even better. All right, see you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. All right, love you, bye.